The aliens are coming, and when they do, where the heck are they gonna land their ship? Other than, you know, Area 51. I think that's a little too obvious at this point. Oh, by the way, hi folks, I'm Alexa, resident Ookie Spooky Girly and alien expert, and while you let me know your guesses in the comments, I'll dive into my theories. So I'm gonna start off today with a wild card suggestion, the Miami Mall. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a minute since a fresh alien story caught my attention, but here we are. Good old malls, usually home to high schoolers, senior walking groups, and the most annoying families you will ever encounter. Trust me, I used to work retail at a fairly large mall. No, I'm not gonna tell you which one, people are weird. But apparently on the first day of this 2024 year, the Miami Mall, over in Florida, might have just been home to something a little more out of this world. Okay, let's start with the official story. Apparently a group of roughly 50 youths caused a riot at Bayside Marketplace, an outdoor mall roughly five miles from South Beach, according to the Miami Police Department. They were setting off fireworks, which led to a panic, as some assumed there was a much more major crime. Granted, this is all according to Miami Police Department Public Information Officer Michael Vega. Four folks were arrested. Police were dispatched for crowd control due to the people refusing to leave, and some businesses were temporarily closed to allow the police to clear the area. Now, Vega was very adamant that alien had nothing to do with the incident. He was even emailing the press saying there was no aliens, no airports were closed, nothing was being withheld from the public, lol. Well, that's what people in power always say. They're gonna cover things up. So I believe that statement as far as I can throw it, especially with the lol at the end. In the days after the incident, folks on social media launched a speculation frenzy, honing in on what they described as a Miami Mall alien. Some suggested police were responding to aliens, not teenagers, not young people. Several people reviewed the video of the incident circulating online and claimed they could see an alien figure in the grainy footage. Some other folks quickly posted memes, because as you do. To quote a post I saw on the app formerly known as Twitter, 10 foot alien slash creatures caught on camera, fired at inside and outside Miami Mall, media silent, cops are covering it up, saying young people were fighting with fireworks, yet all these cop cars and air traffic stopped that night except for black military choppers and no media coverage. I feel like I'm getting a case of deja vu. Anyone else? Clips taken from the viral video were reshared on social media, claiming that an 8 to 10 foot tall alien could be seen at the mall. Which, excuse me, that's very tall. The low quality clip appears to show a tall glowing figure near police vehicles. Look, I've seen videos that were less likely to be aliens turn out to be worth something in terms of being the genuine article, so I'm not dismissing it. Here's a theory. What if every Florida man photo or meme was just an alien trying to blend in here on Earth and failing? Chew on that for thought. Next up might be an obvious choice, the Bermuda Triangle. Look, just because it's obvious doesn't mean we should rule it out. If you don't know, the Bermuda Triangle is a 500,000 square mile section of the Atlantic Ocean, roughly bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, where dozens of ships and airplanes have disappeared. Geographically speaking, this is starting to make sense today. When Christopher Columbus sailed through the area on his first voyage to the New World, he reported that a great flame of fire crashed into the sea one night, and that a strange light appeared in the distance a few weeks later. But he also wrote about erratic compass readings, which are never a good thing. An especially infamous tragedy occurred in March of 1918 when the USS Cyclops, a 542 foot long Navy cargo ship with over 300 men and 10,000 tons of manganese ore on board, sank somewhere between Barbados and the Chesapeake Bay. The Cyclops never sent out an SOS distress call, despite being equipped to do so, and an extensive search found zero wreckage. In 1941, two of the Cyclops' sister ships similarly vanished without a trace along nearly the same route. A pattern began forming in which vessels traversing the Bermuda Triangle would either disappear or be found abandoned. Unexplained circumstances surround quite a few of these incidents, also including one which the pilots of a squadron of US Navy planes became disoriented while flying over the area and they were never found. There's a lot of boats and planes that have seemingly vanished from the area in good weather with no distress messages. More recently, in July of 2015, two young men, Austin Stefanos and Perry Cohen, went on a fishing trip in their 19-foot boat, and despite the 15,000 square nautical wide mile, searched by the Coast Guard, the pair's boat was found a year later off the coast of Bermuda, and no sign of the boys. One reason the Bermuda Triangle might be a magnet for interstellar visitors is its magnetic anomalies. The region has significant variations in the Earth's magnetic field, creating an environment where, like I said before, compass needles go haywire, and navigational instruments don't like to behave. Think about, like, extraterrestrial scientists. They're intrigued by these little magnetic quirks, and they want to conduct experiments to comprehend the peculiarities of our planet's magnetic force. That's not it. I've got more. The Marina Triangle is a geological wonder. The seafloor in this area is known for its deep trenches and underwater caves. So for an advanced alien species, the geological formations could hold clues about Earth's tectonic activity, providing insights into the inner workings of our planet. Think of it like an otherworldly geology field trip, with the added mystery of unexplained disappearances. If that's not enough for you, let's talk about the ocean itself. So this is one of the deepest parts of the Atlantic, known as the Puerto Rico Trench. 
For aliens interested in aquatic life, this underwater area could be a treasure trove of undiscovered species and ecosystems. Who knows what strange and wondrous creatures might just be hanging out there. Additionally, if I haven't already made this clear, this area is a major hub for global transportation routes. Ships and planes regularly traverse this region, making it a prime spot for observing human activities. So if aliens want to know more about our modes of transportation, studying the comings and goings of vessels and aircraft might help for a fascinating case study in human travel patterns. My theory is that aliens have already set up camp in the area, for reasons that I've mentioned causing all of the above. It makes sense to me. What if I told you that Disney World might be the intergalactic landing point aliens would be drawn to? Look, before you dismiss me as just being a Disney adult, allow me to explain. I have reasons why they might want to set their sights on the happiest place on Earth. Let's think about the sheer concentration of human joy and happiness, and also misery, that permeates every little nook and cranny of Disney World. Like it's this epicenter of positive emotions, where people from all over the world come together to just experience wonder and delight. Look, if you're an alien species and you're studying human behavior, what better place to comprehend than like an area where we all go to have fun, what we do for pleasure. If they're gonna observe elation, fascination, and awe, maybe it'll help them understand us. Now, if that sounds a little hooey to you, let's talk about the technology. Disney World is a marvel of engineering and innovation. The animatronics, the rides, and the intricate systems that keep the park running smoothly, like all of these could be a treasure trove of technological insights for a curious alien civilization. Okay, just think about it. Aliens strolling through Tomorrowland, taking notes on our conception of the future and the technological aspirations of the human race. It's like a crash course in Earth's technological evolution, condensed into like one area. In addition, Disney World is actually a microcosm of global cultures. Like if you're gonna go through Epcot, you've got like a whole kaleidoscope of nations and their unique identities. Yes, sometimes it falls into stereotypes, but they can at least get an overview. So if you've got aliens that want to understand Earth's diverse civilizations, they might see Disney World as like a living, breathing encyclopedia of human cultures. The symbolism, the traditions, the aesthetics, everything is condensed into a few square miles. It's like Earth's cultural highlights reel, conveniently packaged for alien study. Okay, but what about resources? Well, think about it. The human fascination with Disney World often translates into a willingness to spend substantial amounts of money on park tickets, merchandise experiences, and aliens, being savvy economists, might see an opportunity for resource extraction of the monetary kind. After all, if they have the technology to travel across the cosmos, they likely understand the concept of interstellar trade. And what better commodity to harvest than our collective eagerness to part ways with our hard-earned cash in exchange for a little bit of magic? Also, with most of Disney World's resources coming straight from the property itself, it's a good one-stop shopping place. In this, you know, scenario, Disney World becomes not just a theme park, but a symbolic crossroads for joy, technology, culture, and economic peculiarities that make humans, well, human. Look, maybe aliens see this fantastical area as the perfect starting point for their anthropological exploration of Earth. Think about it, it makes sense to me. All right, the Arabia Mountain National Heritage Area in Stonecrest, Georgia might seem like an unlikely locale for an extraterrestrial intervention compared to some of the other places I've talked about today. Let's see, if we're gonna engage in a bit of speculative cosmic contemplation together, we might find a couple of reasons why they might wanna go to this geological marvel. Arabia Mountain is one of the three isolated Rocky Mountains in the Atlanta area, which stone Stone and Panola are the others. All three are hikeable, and cresting the top allows for an unobstructed view of the landscape below. Some experts say it's as close to the experience of walking on the moon's surface as we have on Earth. So with its granite outcrops, exposed rock, and vast landscapes, it might be of interest to aliens with an affinity for Earth's diverse topography. Maybe in the cosmic realm, they lack the equivalent of our granitic formations, and view Arabia Mountain as an extraterrestrial geological wonder, worthy of exploration. Now let's also consider the ecosystems that thrive in this area. The diversity of plant and animal life, adapted to the challenging conditions of granite outcrops could be a subject of curiosity for biologists. What adaptations have evolved in these organisms to withstand the harsh environment? The aliens might see this mountain area as an intergalactic laboratory. You know, if you're gonna study resilient life forms. That could come in handy in space. We don't know what's out there. Also, Arabia Mountain is home to a unique wetland ecosystem, providing a contrast to the arid expanses of the granite outcrops. So for aliens with an ecological focus, this wetland could be a source of fascination. The intricate balance of flora and fauna in such a distinct environment might offer valuable insights into the broader spectrum of planet biodiversity. Also, let's consider the cosmic perspective on conservation. So aliens as guardians of universal harmony might appreciate the efforts of earthlings in preserving natural heritage areas. So if you look at Arabia Mountain with its protected status, could symbolize a shared commitment to the preservation of unique and fragile ecosystems. Now in this hypothetical scenario, aliens might be diplomatic ambassadors, applauding humanity's dedication to environmental conservation. But if we're going to speculate a little more. What if Arabia Mountain holds some cosmic significance? Ancient civilizations often ascribed spiritual importance to geological formations, considering them conduits to otherworldly realms. Aliens, aware of such beliefs, might explore Arabia Mountain, seeking connections to cosmic energies or spiritual dimensions, much like how humans have done throughout history. Hey, 
Chew on that for a bit. And finally, we're ending today with none other than good old Roswell, New Mexico. Look, I was good. I left Area 51 off today. You gotta let me have this. Let's get through the elephant in the room. The iconic status of Roswell in human UFO lore. The infamous UFO incident of 1947 has etched the city into the collective consciousness of Earthlings and hypothetically extraterrestrials. The idea of revisiting a location imbued with such historical significance could be compelling for aliens seeking to either clarify misconceptions or exploit the lingering mystery surrounding the events. Furthermore, Roswell's historic connection with alleged UFO crashes might be an attractive prospect for aliens interested in uncovering the depths of human curiosity and paranoia. The city has become synonymous with government secrecy, cover-ups, and, you know, conspiracy theories. Invading Roswell today could be an alien sociological experiment, gauging human reactions to an event so deeply rooted in our cultural psyche. In a more logistic cosmic sense, Roswell's geographical location might be of interest. Nestled in the desert, the area provides a secluded setting for covert extraterrestrial activities. The vast open landscapes offer strategic advantages for aliens seeking to establish a discrete presence or clandestine research facilities without drawing undue attention. Moreover, Roswell's cultural embrace of its UFO legacy might be appealing to aliens as a means of cultural exchange. Think about it. Interstellar tourists fascinated by how a single event has shaped the identity of an entire community. Aliens, rather than invaders, might be, like I've said before, cosmic anthropologists, keen on understanding the nuances of human culture and our evolution over time. And that brings us to the end of our time, and I honestly think I've made some pretty solid arguments today. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hey, while you're there, could you help us out by giving this video a like, subscribing if you aren't already, hit the bell for more alien theories from us here at Top 5 Scary Videos, and I'll see you all next time, you lovely spooky people.